For maximum picture quality, it may be necessary to adjust the tracking control on your VCR. Thanks, Dizzy. Three new recycling bins built and ready to be used. What's going to be recycled in the bins, Bob? There's already a bin for glass and metal and paper and wood. Oh, you can recycle much more than that, Dizzy. Like what, Bob? Hi, Bob. Wendy's giving me some stuff for recycling. Oh, thanks, Muck. Good timing. Right, team, I'll show you what else can be recycled. Now, let's see what we've got. Uh, this computer's too old to be fixed. We can recycle it. Oh, yeah. I'll put it in here. This can be the electric machine recycling bin. What else, Bob? Well, clothing can be recycled. Like this old shirt. There we go. Hmm. This dish towel is too old for drying dishes, but it's just the thing for cleaning my tools. That's what recycling is all about, isn't it, Bob? Reusing things. That's right. Remember the three R's, everyone? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Can cats be recycled? Cats? What do you mean, Dizzy? Oh, Pilchard. We can't recycle you. Can you demolish it? Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> um, should I do it again, Bob? Yes, Lofty. We need to knock all of this old building down so that we can build a new extension for Mr. Adams, the architect. What's an architect? Archie thingy. <laughs> An architect. It's somebody who decides what a building will look like and draws up the plans for how to build it. Oh, yeah! I get it. There's lots of bricks, Bob. What are we going to do with them? Well, Muck, I'm going to reuse them to build something else. Oh, um, is that like recycling? That's right, Lofty. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hi, Bob. Just calling to say goodbye. I'm leaving for the airport in a minute. Have a great vacation, Wendy. I will. And don't take on any other jobs while I'm not here to help you. <laughs> I know what you're like, Bob. Don't worry. This extension is more than enough work. Do you want to speak to Wendy, team? Have fun on vacation, Wendy! We'll miss you! I'll miss you all, too. See you in a week. Bye! Hi, Bob. How's the work going? Oh, fine, thanks, Mr. Adams. That's great, Bob. I'm really gonna need this extra space if I win the competition. What competition? To design and plan a new town out in Sunflower Valley. Really? I used to spend a lot of time out there when I was young, camping with my brother Tom. Oh, it was great fun. Oh, then you'll love what I've got planned for it, Bob. I'll give you a sneak peek if you want. Great! Now, I built a model to show my ideas to the judges. Been working on it for weeks now. What do you think? Oh, uh, it's very nice. It's just a shock to see Sunflower Valley looking like a city. See, this part is all hotels, and there'll be restaurants, nightclubs, gyms, golf courses. Oh, seems like you've thought of everything. Oh, everything you could wish for. I'm going to make Sunflower Valley a fantastic place for vacations. People will come from all over. Well, it's a very good model. Thank you, Bob. I better get it finished. The judging's the day after tomorrow. I'm a builder, not an architect, Muck. Yeah, but you can think of ideas. And draw things. And you know more about building than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, team. But with Wendy on vacation, I have lots of work to do here. Well, team, the site's all cleared, so tomorrow we can start building. Have we cleared it already? Wait for tomorrow. Uh, 
So what's Sunflower Valley like, Bob? You know what? I think I still have some home movies from our vacations there. Oh, can we watch them, Bob? I'll dig them out when we get home, Lofty. We had a lot of trouble with that goat. It ate everything. He's a very, very naughty goat, Bob. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? What will happen to all the sunflowers when they build there, Bob? Don't know, Roly. I suppose a lot of them will have to be dug up. Can't someone design something that won't spoil everything? Yeah, so the sunflowers can keep their home. Well, let's hope so. <sighs> night, night, Pilchard. Pilchard? I've got to win that competition and save Sunflower Valley. Come on, Scruffy, let go! I can't throw it for you again if you won't let me have it. <laughs> Wait for Spot! Listen, team, I have something to tell you. I had a nightmare last night, and it made me realize that I have to enter the competition. Oh, wow! That's fantastic, Bob! I knew you should! Oh, how exciting! It's not going to be easy. The deadline's tomorrow. Who? Oh, what's first, Bob? I have some ideas, but I want to go to the library to check a few things out. What about the job, Bob? Can you guys work on your own today? The foundations need laying. I'll mark them out. Yeah, we've done that a million times. Are you sure? Of course we are, Bob. Promise you'll come and get me if you need me. No problem, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Good doggy. Oh, uh, where's your stick gone? Oh, what do you mean you've lost it? Now I'll have to find you another one. Come on. Oh! <laughs> wow! Now that's clever. I never knew you could do that. Lofty, can you take these bricks back to the yard, please? Oh, um, okay, Snoop. Right. 
right, I'm just gonna drop my model off at the town hall. Ooh, let's see. But I thought the judging was tomorrow. It is, but I finished early, and I want people to have a chance to get a good look at it. There's gotta be a stick somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scrofty, I don't think you should have done that. Come back here, come back, and not doggy stick. Well, good luck, Mr. Adams. Thank you. How's Bob gonna build a model like that by tomorrow? Whoa, that looks great, Bob. Okay, now to add some houses. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't work. Sunflower Valley just doesn't look right with houses. Yeah, I see what you mean, Bob. They need to, well, blend in a little more, don't they? Hi, bird! We're trying to think of a way to build houses so they don't stick out. <laughs> Got any ideas? <laughs> no, Bird. I don't think we could build nests for people to live in. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're showing me how your houses blend into where you live. Hey, look, Bob. That's clever, isn't it? Brilliant. That gives me an idea. Why don't I try to build the houses into the side of the hills? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Good one, Bob. Okay, Muck, let's dig out the foundations. Can we dig it? Um, no, we can't. <laughs> That's very funny. No, Scoop, we can't. Look, the markings are gone. <gasps> but... Drop the stick! Drop the stick! Drop the stick! Drop the stick! Oh, Oh, good doggy. Those pegs were marking our foundations. Uh-oh. I told you those sticks were important, Scruffy. <coughs> Scruffy says he's sorry he just wanted to play stick. I'd better go and get Bob. He'll have to do them again. But Bob doesn't have time. Oh, it's all right. I know where they went. Uh, Spud's on the job. Oh, yeah. Houses with grass roofs. They're cool because they don't spoil the countryside. Oh, I know. You could reuse these bricks that we saved today to build one of those houses. <laughs> there aren't enough, Lofty. <laughs> no, but it's a good idea. We'll reuse old building materials when we can because it reduces waste. Yeah, like recycling things. Reduce, um, reuse, and... Recycle! Reduce! Reuse! Recycle! Reduce! Reuse! Recycle! Yes! That's what Sunflower Valley should be all about! Reduce! Reuse! Recycle! Piece of cake! It's just straight lines, see? Good job, Spud! <sighs> I'm so glad we didn't have to get Bob back! Say, everyone, guess what? Mom models the talk of the town hall! Are there any other entries? Not yet, so I think I'm in with a real good chance. Oh, uh, that's great. Come on, Muck, let's get digging. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I'd find a use for this piece one day. It'll make a perfect base for my model. Mr. Bentley, is that you? Oh, good afternoon, Bob. 
I'm just escorting this young machine to the town hall. He's part of the prize for the Sunflower Valley competition. Yeah, the winner gets me, Scrambler, to drive him all around Sunflower Valley off-roading, which is really cool. Um, nice to meet you, Scrambler. I'm Bob the Builder. Hiya, Bob the Builder. I'm entering too, you know, Mr. Bentley. But the judging is tomorrow. Are you going to get a model built and write a speech by then? Uh, a speech? Oh, yes, Bob. Each entrant has to give a speech explaining why their idea is right for Sunflower Valley. Whoa. I didn't know that. Well, we'd better leave you to it then. Bye for now. Come along, Scrambler. Hold tight, Mr. B. Let's scram! Yeah! Will you stop doing that? I'm not evil canoodle! OK, Dizzy, we're going to need lots of cement now, please. Coming right up! <laughs> Team, now we need to let the concrete set and... <gasps> oh, that tree wasn't there before. It was on the other side. Oh, no. Spud must have done it wrong. What are we going to do? Oh, we'll have to tell Bob. We'd better tell him right now before the concrete goes hard. Hurry! <laughs> That doesn't look right. What happened? Scruffy pulled out the pegs, Bob. He was playing sticks. And Spud put them back in and, well, we thought it looked okay. Until we saw the tree. I'm really sorry, Bob. We didn't want to disturb you and now we spoiled everything. You'll have to fix this and then you won't have time to finish your model and, and we'll... Whoa, Scoop, whoa. It's okay. If we work quickly, we'll be able to get the concrete out before it sets. Don't worry. Ooh. And this part in the middle is in the right place, so we can leave that. So what do we do with the concrete, Bob? We can reuse it as hardcore later. Reduce, reuse, recycle. What do you mean, Bob? It's what my plan for Sunflower Valley is all about. Come on, let's get going. Then you can get back to your model. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Oh, looks like there's a power cut. That's all we need. Now Bob has no time, no power, and no light. He'll never get finished now. The electricity company said it'll be back on soon. What are you going to do till then, Bob? I'll just have to work like they did in the old days. By candlelight with hand tools. <laughs> yeah! Go, Bob! electricity in Sunflower Valley? No, there isn't, Scoop. What did people do before there was electricity? Well, in the old days, water was sometimes used to power things. Like what, Bob? Well, hot water made steam to power steam trains on the railroads. Oh, yeah! Choo-choo! <laughs> Choo-choo! Choo-choo! <laughs> Can you think of any other ways of powering things? Oh, I know, I know! Remember the wind turbine that we put up for Farmer Pickles? Yeah, that used the wind for power! That's right! And sometimes we use the generator to power lights and tools. 
And some of your tools are powered by batteries. Yes. Well done, all of you. See? There are lots of different ways to make power. So what are you going to use for power in Sunflower Valley? Water, wind, and sun. Stuff that's already there! Yeah! Reduce, reuse, recycle! Reduce, reuse, recycle! Look! There's the underground houses I told you about. Oh! Those are the wind turbines! <laughs> Look at him go, Bob! Do we get to build all of this if you win, Bob? <laughs> I don't think so, Dizzy. It's a huge job. They'll get a big building company in. Hey, team, the power's back on! Yay! Bob? Not yet. I'll just have to wake up early and finish the model and practice my speech. Night, night, Bob. Good night, Scoop. So, as well as all the hotels and leisure centers, there will be a massive shopping mall and parking lot. People from all over will arrive by the busload to this place. Because it'll be bigger and better than anything you've ever seen anywhere before. So you see, everyone, my plans for Sunflower Valley are going to really put it on the map. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Adams. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you will agree that all of today's entries have been quite magnificent. I, I think, think the, the judges, judges now have, have a very, very difficult, difficult job, job to do. No, wait! wait. Please, please, just, just a moment. It, it looks, looks like we have a last-minute last entry from our very own Bob, Bob the Builder. Builder. Hurry up now, Bob! Bob. Uh, <clears throat> uh, my uh, idea for Sunflower Valley, Valley is very simple, simple really. really. It's, it's about, about building that works, works together, together with nature. nature. It'll be a community where people can work, live, and play. But the buildings will blend in with the beautiful countryside. I want to make use of the natural things out there and use them to make and save energy. Yes, so everything would be powered by... Wind, water, and sun. There's lots of that in Sunflower Valley. And we'll build using materials that are recycled. So waste will be reduced by reusing things. Some of the buildings will be built into the sides of the hills. And because, and because they'll, they'll be surrounded, be surrounded by, by lots of soil, soil, they'll be warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Which saves energy. So, so basically, basically, what, what I'm, I'm saying my idea is to... Oh, help me out here, team. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And, uh, that's, that's it, really. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Bob the Builder. And without further ado, I ask the judges to go and make their decision. The winner will, of course, get to see their design built in Sunflower Valley and will also take home this exciting off-road machine. All right, everyone, I'm Scrambler. I can take you anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, after very careful consideration, the winning design for Sunflower Valley comes from an idea that impressed the judges with its inventiveness and forward thinking. The idea comes from... Bob the Builder! It's a vision that will build a community for the future, blending in with its surroundings and using the natural resources around it for energy and power. Congratulations, Bob. It's perfect for Sunflower Valley. 
I only wish I'd thought of it. Well done, Bob. Thoroughly well deserved. It gives me great pleasure to present you with Scrambler. Hello again, Bob. Good job. Thanks, Scrambler. Welcome to my team. Awesome! I think I'm going to have fun. Now, Bob, when can you start? Start? Of course. I wouldn't want your vision built by anyone else. I'm so proud of you, Bob. How many people get to design and build their very own community? You're right. But the Maris wants me to start as soon as possible. What are we going to do about all our work here in Bobsville? I look after things in Bobsville. But I'm going to need your help in Sunflower Valley. We're a team. I know. I'll just do it until we can find someone else to run the yard for us. Okay? Okay. Are you sure you'll be all right here? Of course I will. Stop worrying. I want you to keep Scrambler for now so that you can get to Sunflower Valley whenever you want. Thanks, Bob. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I can't wait to go off-roading in Sunflower Valley. Thanks for coming to see us off, everyone. Oh, we will miss you all. Yes, indeed we shall. Yeah, and me too. I, I don't want you to go. Bye. Look, team, sunflowers. Well, team, this is it. Sunflower Valley. Whoa! Oh, it's so beautiful! I've never seen anything like it, Bob. I think this must be the most beautiful place in the whole world. Really, really pretty. It's going to be a big new adventure. Can we build it? Yes, we, we can! can!